Hey, my name is Christian Hedegaard and I'm an evangelist. I have traveled the world for the last 30 years of my life. I was invited to do a crusade in Puyo, Ecuador, which is the uh, Amazon capital. And um, I didn't know anybody there. I hadn't been in Ecuador for almost 30 years. But we came because we were invited and uh, we saw Jesus heal and save many, many people. People were set free. It was like something was unleashed. Puyo is known because in 19, I think it's 56, five American missionaries, they were reaching out to some of the unknown tribes in the Amazon jungle. They were in Puyo and they were killed. And one of the wives actually ended up living with them for many years and led them to Christ. So Puyo is known like, it used to be the end station of the road. It was where you had to fly out further to get in contact with these unknown tribes. Many of these tribes that have contact with the, you know, with the surrounding world, they don't, they don't leave where they are. They, there's no roads going out there. So what you do is you fly in, they have small airstrips that have been cut out of the jungle and you, you can only fly in, in small planes. And uh, we did that. We went out to remote places and preached Jesus to these people. I brought some friends with me, pastors from uh, Europe and, uh, and from America. And uh, we were out in many churches. We went to many different locations. We split up and went out with interpreters. And we preached the gospel in the jungle, uh, on the outskirts of the jungle. Actually, anywhere they wanted us to come uh, with the gospel, we went. And uh, we had a great time. You, you will never be bored if you go with me on a missions trip because I get to experience all kinds of wild things. We went white river rafting. Uh, we, went, uh, we went fishing. We climbed mountains and jungles. And we drove motorcycles over the Andes. And we fished on the uh, Pacific coast. I was interviewed on live television uh, the night of the first crusade and um, also radio that reaches out to the whole Amazon region of Ecuador. Uh, we went on live and, um, and they broadcasted out so many people were advertised. Many people knew that we were coming. People were very open for Christ, very open for miracles, very open for signs and wonders. And, um, I called people forward that had tumors and before they even reached the stage. Uh, the tumors had disappeared in front of our very eyes. They brought a lady to me that had uh, throat cancer. She could not eat food, she could not drink water, she could not hold it in. And they brought her to me and they said, uh, help us pray for her. She's very sick and I said to the one who brought her, why don't you lay your hands on her throat and pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ. And when she did that, the lady immediately could drink and eat and when I came back she had two plates of food she had eaten up and she was emptying the second bottle of water and they were shocked and then I asked them to pray for the next lady she had a big tumor it was actually like a like a big ball sticking out from under her breast and when they laid their hands on that tumor it just disappeared when we come with the message of faith in God and when we come with the first message of the kingdom of Christ of course it changes the local church. Uh, many people are so stuck in their daily problems and in poverty. So when you come with a message of faith and a message of encouragement, uh, it, 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 it builds up the local church. But also when we come as a team, and we experience to be used by the Holy Spirit, it also edifies us upon our most holy faith. If you are hungry, uh, uh, if you're hungry for experience and you know Christ using you, the team trip is perfect because you get to go to places, meet people, and the giftings in your life will just be pulled out of you. You will be, you will be involved with people in ways that you've never been involved before, and you will experience how God uses you. When I bring team members with me, I always put them in situations they have never been in before. I always. I always make sure that their faith uh, rises a level or two. And when they come back, 
to America or to their respective countries, they come back changed. They come back with lots of faith. You can't be around me uh, without getting more faith. That's for sure.